at ABBA. The concert's coming to the Jacksonville Center for the Performing Arts. And this is kind of uh, as close as I'm going to ever get to talking to the real ABBA. I mean, we're going to welcome Matilda Lindell, who portrays Agneta. Uh, and, and, you know, Matilda, what is it like actually being part of this tribute that's done so well over the years? and that really celebrates music that I feel is good for the soul. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mike. Uh, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure, and we are very much looking forward to coming to Jacksonville again. Um, well, it's an honor to be in this band to perform ABBA's music. It's, as you say, good for the soul. Huh? And we even have a thing we call ABBA love. It's like a thing, you know, we just huh? feel it when we enter the stage, we feel it back from the audience. And yeah, this music uh, inspires people. It touches people and we can tell, we can tell. Yeah. I like that, it's called Abba Love. Let's talk more about that Abba Love. And really, I think it's the <laughs> chemistry we saw between you and Bjorn and then Benny and Annie Freed. I mean, it didn't get any better. So how do you even begin to uh, try to duplicate th that bond, that unbreakable bond? Well, I think in the band in general, we are, you know, we have worked pretty hard perfecting the show and really going into listening to all those special sounds that ABBA had. And um, me and my uh, good friend and colleague, uh, Elizabeth, we have really tried to portrait the the girls but also like really their voices together that special special sound we worked pretty hard on it uh -huh. <laughs> and with the music and with the interaction with you know as you say Bjorn and Benny and uh -huh. also the rest of the band it's like it's hard not to feel the album yet magic honestly right. it's hard not to feel it and yeah. you know we are just enjoying our musical experience every show and, and the experience with the audience, so. I mean, you've had many sold out shows and folks are saying, yeah, they they somehow captured that chemistry that the real ABBA had. So that's quite a tribute to you as well. Uh, so how does that make you feel? That feels great. I mean, we are having a good time and um, creating this thing and be able to do this thing. Uh, I'm glad that the audience noticed that we are like really putting our joy into it. Because we and do. It, and <laughs> hey, Matilda, is it true that you really have are Swedish? You're actually Swedish and even have ABBA curtains in your home? <laughs> <laughs> I am very Swedish, but hmm, I don't know about the ABBA curtains. No curtains? <laughs> okay. Uh, that's just at my house, I guess. Um, yeah, maybe, will, maybe. Will we, hear, will we get to hear Money, Money, Money and Dancing Queen? We are definitely singing all the good songs and a few more. I mean, it's so hard. I mean, Hopefully you will hear your favorite because mm -hmm. there's so many favorites, right? There's so right. many favorites. There's, I mean, it, the list is huge. It goes on and on and on. So yes, it goes please, on and on. Please sing as many as you can, okay? We will, and we actually put a few treats in there for you as well. You oh. know, they have kept some, you know, music coming, and we also wanted to treat the audience to a little bit of the Ooh, new I music. like it. Okay, and yeah. why do you think, <laughs> on this note here, why do you think this concert is so important in 2022, even more so now than say 1982 with its uplifting message? Well, I mean, honestly, we have been through a few years of struggling in different ways, all of us. And this music for us personally, we have not met our audience and been being able to be out there doing, you know, mm -hmm. what we were meant to be doing. Um, so for us, it's very special to connect with the audience again. Um, but I think everyone needs it. Everyone needs this like message of hope and joy. And also Abba's songs were not all very happy. They had divorces, it was painful, but those lyrics are intimate they bring out emotions they make you feel and that is important like it's it's just important in life isn't it yeah, and yeah. then all the joy you know that abba's music brings so yeah i think we need it especially now yeah 
<laughs> well said. In fact, Matilda, it was a joy talking with you. So that's Matilda Lindell. And keep in mind, okay, August 4th, ABBA, the concert, the tribute, is coming to Jacksonville Center for the Performing Arts. So get those tickets. They're going fast. And of course, for much more on this, uh, you can also head to our website, and that's firstcoastliving.net.